Hey folks, what do you think about cheats in games? Personally, I've never used any software and I've always disliked those who do. I'm all about playing and relying on my own skills. However, there are people who couldn't come to terms with being less skilled players. Instead of learning to play better, they decided to use cheats. If you think there are no cheats in World of Tanks splits, or if you believe they don't give you any advantage in battles, you're very wrong. As some times ago, I watched a YouTube video about some banned modifications, but in my opinion, those modifications didn't provide any significant advantage in battles. However, as time went on, cheats became more dangerous and powerful. Today, I'll show you what cheats are currently present in our game. Honestly, I was shocked when I saw this, and I think you'll be shocked too. But before we dive in, here's a quick recommendation from me. Let's go. Exciting news for everyone who's live in the United States. You have the opportunity to snag a free $100 for any products at the team you market. If you haven't heard, Team is the place where you can get just about anything, and the best part is their prices are way lower than other stores. To grab that $100, all you need to do is download the app using my link or enter the promo code you see on the screen. All the details you can see in the description or pinned comment. Happy shopping and enjoy those sweet deals. Before we start, I want to give you a heads up. This video is purely for entertainment purposes and in no way encourages you to install cheats. The responsibility is entirely yours and using cheats may result in your account being permanently banned. Let's start by looking at what modifications are allowed in our game. Various texture mods for tanks, map restyling, and image replacements are all permitted. However, any mods that give you an advantage in battles are strictly prohibited, and using them will result in a permanent ban. If you were aware of these mods in the game, let me know in the comments, and I'll make a separate video for you, covering everything about mods, where to find them, and how to install them. When it comes to cheats, there are two main types, mods that replace standard textures and third-party software. The first type involves modifications that replace standard in-game textures, while the second type is external software, acting as a separate program that directly influences battles. I want to make it clear that I won't provide any links, even for money. I'm completely against cheats, and I hope that every cheater will be banned. Let's start with the first type of cheats, those installed as mods. Primarily, there's a mod for transparent textures of buildings and various objects on the map, on one hand, you have a full view of your opponent, easily seeing the direction they're facing, providing you with an advantage. On the other hand, what's stopping you from simply using the available free camera view? Initially, this mod was considered useless precisely because of the unrestricted camera view. However, the developers introduced the Sheridan into the game, which has guided missiles. Naturally, some players rushed to reinstall this mod. As a result, we got players shooting into the sky and boldly aiming their sights at opponents. Of course, the developers quickly addressed this, permanently banning anyone using these mods. Additionally, they nerfed the missiles and eventually removed them from regular battles. I believe this was the right decision. Additionally, concerning forbidden mods, there's one called Tundra that completely removes all foliage on maps. With this mod, you can easily spot opponents behind bushes. Another mod creates laser pointers from enemy gun barrels, allowing you to see where the opponent is aiming when shooting at you. This way, you can angle your armor to prevent the opponent from penetrating. However, it might become more of a hindrance since the laser isn't exclusive to the enemy. It appears on all tanks in the battle, including yours. This turns every battle into a laser show. Overall, these mods are more like crutches now and are likely to cause inconvenience rather than provide advantages in battles. Nevertheless, they are prohibited and using them will result in a permanent ban. Now let's take a look at genuinely dangerous cheats. I had no idea such things existed in our game. Firstly, check out how a player on the Jagged Panzer E100 activates Flyhack and simply flies to the enemy base at the beginning of the battle. Maybe you've already seen this video, but what about that? Then there's a player on the Object 140 in a training room using cheats to take off and hover in the air. Unlike the previous flight, here you can stay in the air for an unlimited amount of time, and naturally, opponents won't have enough vertical aiming angles to shoot at you. I believe this player was banned after just three battles because it's highly suspicious. By the way, if you play on the Euro server, you've probably noticed the absence of global chat in battles. Some time ago, there wasn't even team chat. I got information that a player found a loophole in the system and was entering cheat commands in the chat. After doing so, all opponents and allies would be disconnected from the game, allowing the player to freely inflict a massive amount of damage. In response, the developers temporarily disabled the chat to fix this situation. Just imagine how chaotic that must have looked. Nice. The next cheat will surprise you even more. Look at this player's aiming circle. It's incredibly small and they aim very quickly. This cheat manipulates the aiming reticle, ensuring that you will hit any part of the opponent even at a considerable distance. Undoubtedly, this is a very severe cheat, but I'm confident the next one will shock you even more. Cheats for enemy detection offer several ways to spot opponents. Firstly, there's the tracer from enemy shots. Thanks to this cheat, you can see all projectile traces after an opponent fires. For example, if an enemy shoots at you from a bush, you already know where to aim confidently. 
Now take a look at this. The cheat shows when any object on the map is damaged and displays the distance to that object. Just imagine being in a 1v1 situation and you can track your opponent only by the objects they break while moving. This is a very powerful cheat, but that's not all. The cheater can also see the outline of your tank, even if you're not spotted. You don't even need to damage any objects on the map for this. Additionally, there's another cheat that shows where the opponent was last spotted before going out of view. I just don't have words for the fact that such people can play in the same battle as me. But don't rush to close the video, there's an even more astonishing cheat coming up. I've already shown you how cheaters use Sheridan with transparent textures. But how about this, an artillery style reticle? Congratulations! Now even in our little tanks we have artillery. Something everyone was so afraid of. In this case, the cheat works based on the camera zoom system. But with Sheridan, cheaters didn't stop there. You might think, what else can you do if not artillery? But just look at this. When I saw this, I just couldn't believe my eyes. A mod for realistic missiles? Seriously, without jokes, this is the epitome of cheating. If a top-down view or transparent walls can somehow be countered, this doesn't fit into any limits. And again, this isn't the limit for cheaters. Look at this. It's a real aimbot for Woti Blitz. The cheater doesn't even need to look in the direction of the opponent. Just shoot, and the missile will automatically catch up to them. And here's how cheats provide automatic lead aiming for long-distance shots. I'm just speechless. Thankfully, cheats like these are not readily available, and most importantly, the developers actively combat cheating in our game. Every cheater will sooner or later be banned. So under no circumstances should you think about seeking cheats, as you won't enjoy them for long. Most likely, after the first battle, your account will be permanently banned with no chance of appeal. I've warned you. I hope the video was interesting and helpful for you. What I want to advise you is to learn to play, practice, and you won't need any cheats. Thank you for watching my video. See you soon. Goodbye.